Finally, Enrique, how can companies create a purpose-driven culture or work that is attractive to job seekers? And if you can give a specific example. There, uh, there's this company that was created by high school students and the company was uh, basically they were combining environmental responsibility with a recycling, they created a recycling company and they combined that with technology. So basically what they are allowing uh, restaurants to do is that with one click in their phones, basically they request a recycling service and this company comes, pick up the recycling and leaves. So very timely, very effective, very efficient in the way it works. And the reason why these high school students created a company and not something else is because they are extremely passionate about social, uh, corporate social responsibility and extremely passionate about environmental protection. So imagine if our companies had the opportunity to link the purpose that they have as a company with what people want out of their own professional lives, their own careers, or their own lives in general. So if companies were able to say, you know, we are here to provide, you know, opportunities for this, for this and that, and they can combine that one thing, you know, their purpose as an organization with what the, the people really want to achieve by coming to work, they will, they, they basically have the holy grail of, of, of work because what they are doing or what they what they would be doing is telling the people, when you come to this company, you don't come just to work, you come to achieve your purpose. You come to achieve your passions. You come to achieve your dreams. And as you do that, you're helping us do ours as well. So we are combining you know, what we want as a company with what you want as an individual in your, in your life. And we're working you know, towards the same goal. I think that is extremely powerful. Unfortunately, a lot of companies are designed and a lot of jobs are designed to make people think that what they do is not important or it's just a piece that may not, mean, may not be meaningful in the entire context of the company or because of the way a company behaves, they might be making people uh, uh, think that the sole purpose of the company is to make money, which is probably not true. So companies have to do a deep retrospective exor- uh, 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 reflection exercise, I'm sorry, uh, uh, you know, to understand what they are about, to, to really think what is it that they are about and convey that message and then invite everybody else and say, you know, what are you about? And then how can we combine what you are about with what I am about as a company to both of us sort of row in the same direction? So I think it is totally possible. Um, A lot of people out there are working for companies, you know, for nonprofits where they probably make less money than they would make in the private sector. People working for, uh, for government, my own wife, you know, my, my wife, her, her dream has been working in the government. She has, you know, dreamed all her life, for, you know, being a, a, civil, a civil servant. So, you know, how amazing it is that she comes to work in government and the government says, you know, our, our purpose is this one thing, serving people, and that, that's also her purpose. So I think it's totally possible to combine these two things, probably not for all the jobs that are out there, but that is the exercise that we have today. The exercise is how do we redefine our companies so that the, the, you know, that the purpose is understood by all our people and how do we understood, understand our people so that their purpose is aligned with what we are trying to do with this company. So um, anyway, I think we can, you know, adding these two things and rowing in the same direction can be very, very powerful at work and in life in general. Thank you, Enrique, for all your tips and sharing your knowledge with my audience. So if you like any of the videos, please like and share and follow me on my social media. Till next time, have a great day. Bye.